Don't you swing by my stall and we can continue our chat over a drink. Oh, I haven't gotten it yet. My apologies, Snake. As I mentioned last night, our surroundings were rather crowded and noisy. However, now that the market is closed for the day, I would be more than happy to invite Lord you to my stall where we can discuss such matters further. Well, here I am, at your stall. Do you think we could discuss the matters further? Let's not rush into things too quickly. Okay. Remember, it's important to build trust and respect in any relationship. Relationship? Mommy, mom, chill out, chill out. <laughs> no, I'm not in a relationship. I just want to fuck. Let's take a moment to calm down. As much as I appreciate your enthusiasm, let's not forget our discussion about building trust and respect. If I need to just take it easy in order to that? smash that and do the crazy, crazy stuff that you're talking about, then all right, I'll wait. I'll take it easy. I'll take it slow. And then you're going to show me whatever freaky things you have in mind. So you agree to take things slow and respect my boundaries while we explore our relationship further. Yes. I'm glad to hear it. For now. Now, what do you say we start with something simple like a private dinner at my stall tonight? Okay. That way, we can get to know each other better over a romantic candlelit meal without attracting any unwanted attention. Okay. Yeah. Here's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna get you like a nice bottle of wine or, or mead or something. Maybe some flowers. And I'll see you back here tonight. Sounds perfect, Snake. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be hard. But you promised me world ending sex. So. Oh, That's what right I'm down for. Bye! I, I need to find some flowers, some place to buy some air. I guess I could go back down and get a one of those. What everyone is saying, that Aventus Artino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? The Dark Brotherhood? Always with a nonsense. No, no, of course not. Wait, I want to join the Dark Brotherhood. And I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child. Wait, boy. That house, they are cursed. Oh, huh. then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Aretino walks a dark path. His actions oh. can lead only to ruin. This must be the Aretino boy place. How oh, easy. Easy. Die, Grilla! Die! Grilla! You'll get what you deserve. The Dark Brotherhood will see to that. Oh, oh the wine I need. Very tired. Then your child went to me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Oh my god, this kid is so sweet mother, dark. sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Sweet okay. mother. Oh, the flowers! The flowers! That was fucking weird. Um, uh, whatever. Alright, now I got my lavender and my meat. Now it's time to get to this date and get my nut off! Woo! Hey, babe! It's good to see you! Check it out! I got you some flowers, lavender specifically, as well as a delicious bottle of meat I thought we could share for a drink a little later. What do you think? Are you ready to have that date now? Wine, flowers, and delicious cuisine. It's going to be a lovely evening. So, what do you say we find somewhere more secluded for our private dinner? It's getting late, and I'm sure Windham's finest wouldn't approve of public displays of affection. Come on now, stop being shy, and let's get going. I want to show you a place where we can truly be ourselves, far away from prying eyes and judgmental stares. Oh. Just don't get carried away with my body. That I'm all yours tonight. Oh. Alright, really babe, really let's get a move on. Look around. I think this is a great quarter. Everybody's left and we're at your stall. Thank you for suggesting it. Would you like to share anything particular with me? I guess I could share one or two things. I'm here in Skyrim because I had to leave my home. My home in Norway. Please know that you can always trust me and share anything you wish. Why don't you tell me more about yourself and what brought you here? Sure, essentially, it was my dad. My dad's name is British. Oh, I see. Your father sent you. Please feel free to continue and I'll listen closely. No, no, my dad didn't send me. I ran away. You see, he's a farmer. He farms vegetables. But me, I, I, I was born to be a true goblin. My dad and I were essentially on this big fight that he wanted me to be a farmer. And I didn't want to be a farmer, so I decided to say fuck you, and that was a big mistake. He punched me in the face, and then I grabbed his ear, and I pulled it down, and his head went sideways, and then I punched him in the gut, and then he punched me in the sternum, and then my, like, breath was out, and, and so I, I then threw up a little bit, and I threw up on him, and that really pissed me off. 
Spaced him off, so he grabbed me by the back of my shirt and he kind of like kicked in the door and like threw me out. And then I said, you know what? Fuck you! If you're gonna treat me like this, I don't even wanna be your son anymore! And he said, why don't you get your shit and get out? And I said, fine! And I ran inside, I pushed him on the ground, I grabbed my stuff and put it in a backpack, he was yelling at me, and then I jumped out the window, and then I ended up in a boat, and then the boat just ended up here, it was the first boat I could find, so I don't really know, I don't have a plan, really. I'm sorry to hear about your experiences with your father. It's good that you're trying to explore new opportunities and find your place in Skyrim. I'm trying to join Dark Brother and try and be a good assassin. Wait, are you saying you want to become an assassin? Yeah, I am! Well, I must admit that's quite ambitious of you. However, it's essential to remember that becoming an assassin is not something to be taken lightly. I understand that, but old Snick has no problems. He's a big, <laughs> not big, but Snick, Snick's a small, slippery, a slimy little speed monster. And I can take care of myself. You best believe that. And I can take care of you real nice too. Under the moonlight, my beautiful Nirina. You look gorgeous. Thank you, Snicky. Your I must say, special. your compliments are quite charming. If it's all right with you, I'd like to show you around Windham a bit more tomorrow and maybe even bring you to Riffin. They Riffin. have some lovely architecture there, especially at night. I think that that would be wonderful. But for now, truth be told, we're in this dark corner. The moon is out, the lights are out, the fire. I'm just feeling all romantic. What do you say? Would you like to share in each other's bodies? This is it. This is it. This is it. I must admit that I am feeling a bit romantic too. However, as we have just met and don't know each other all that well yet, perhaps we should wait a bit before getting oh. physically intimate. What do you say? Can we continue getting to know each other? without rushing into anything. Alright, if that's what you say. But then, if you'd like to continue seeing each other, you think we are our future? Would you like to be my girlfriend? I appreciate the offer, but let's take things slow and get to know each other better. That's fine, but if we start dating, then that, then we, that means that we're interested in getting to know each other and really becoming friends, and if you see a future romantically, then maybe I think it's best for us to date. I think it's a healthy step in our relationship. I also want us to take things slow and make sure okay. we are indeed compatible okay. both physically. Would give us a chance you to already know said know that! God damn it! No! I just wanna fuck! I just wanna fuck! Oh, that's what I want! What's up you Chad Pole? Thank you so much for watching my video. Throw the video a like if you enjoyed it and remember to hit that motherfucking subscribe button.